Welcome to MDB Electrosoft. In this video, we are going to make an automatic street light. This is the circuit which we are going to make. This is a triple five timer IC. Pin number two of this IC is its trigger pin, which is triggered by this LDR. Pin number three is its output pin, and the output is given to this transistor. Output of this transistor is connected to the relay, which is then connected to a bulb. When we provide the supply to this circuit, this LED will glow, which acts as an indicator. LDR is a light-dependent resistor whose resistance changes according to the intensity of the light. When the light falls on it, its resistance decreases, and thus it will trigger this IC. As soon as the IC get triggered, it will give the output over pin number three. Pin number three is connected to the transistor, so transistor will conduct now. The output of transistor is connected to the relay, because of which the relay will break the contact, and thus it will switch off the bulb. When the intensity of the light is less than the required intensity, the resistance of the LDR will get increased. And it cannot trigger the IC, so the IC will give the low output, and this output is given to the transistor. As the input to the transistor is low, it will not conduct. So the output of the transistor is low. The relay will make the contact and switch on the bulb which is connected to it. These all are the components which we will need to make a circuit. First of all, take the PCB. Images of different components are printed on the PCB, so we have to mount the component on the PCB carefully. Take the relay. Its image is printed on the PCB, so mount the relay over its image carefully, as shown in this video. Now apply the flux on the terminals of the relay from the other side. It facilitates and helps in soft soldering. Now perform the soldering. Take the soldering iron, solder wire. And solder these terminals. Soldering should be done carefully because it can burn our hands. Now take the base of triple five timer IC. Mount this base over the image of the IC as shown in this video. Notch of the IC and notch of the image should align to each other. Now hold the base of the IC like this and apply the flux from the other side. After this, do the soldering. Take the soldering iron, again solder wire, and perform the soldering. Now take the IC, make all the pins of the IC straight so that we can easily insert the IC into its base. Now take the resistor, bend this resistor. The value of this resistor is one kilo ohm. Mount this resistor close to the IC over its image, as shown in this video. Now apply the flux to its terminals, and then do the soldering. Whenever there is a need, take solder wire. After the soldering, cut off the extra terminals of the resistor with the help of the cutter. Now take the capacitor of 10 microfarad. The terminal close to the light blue band is a negative terminal of the capacitor. So carefully mount the capacitor over its image. You can hold the component from the other side, and it will not move while performing the soldering. Apply the flux to the terminals of the capacitor, and then perform the soldering. 
cut off the extra terminals of the capacitor. Now take a diode and bend it. The image and symbol of the diode is printed on the PCB, so carefully mount the diode over its image. The silver band on the diode and the band on the image should align to each other. After the diode has been mounted, apply the flux to its terminals and then perform the soldering. Cut off its terminals. Now take the resistor of 330 ohm, bend it and mount it on the PCB. Follow the same procedure, apply the flux and then do the soldering. Cut off its terminals. Now take the transistor. Its image and number are printed on the PCB. So carefully mount the transistor over the PCB as shown in this video. Now apply the flux over its terminals and then perform the soldering. Cut off its terminals. Now again take the resistor of 330 ohm, bend it and mount it over its image close to the capacitor. Apply the flux and fix it with the help of the soldering. Cut off its terminals. Now take the LED. The bigger terminal of the LED is anode and it is positive. So carefully mount the LED over its image on PCB. Apply the flux. And now do the soldering. Cut off its extra terminals. Now take the another LED and follow the same procedure for this LED as well. Take the wires. Insulation of the wires has been already removed. Dip the wires in the flux and twist them. Now tin the wires with the help of the soldering iron. This will help in soft soldering. Follow the same procedure for another wire. Now mount both the wires over the image of LDR because we have to connect the LDR to these wires. After the wires has been mount, do the soldering and fix them. Now take the LDR. Connect one of the wire to one of the terminal of the LDR with the help of the soldering. And the second wire to the second terminal as shown in this video. LDR is connected to the wires. Take the wires, apply the flux, twist them 
and mount these wires over the PCB. Cut off the extra wires if any. Now we have to connect the variable resistor which is potentiometer to this circuit through wires. The wire close to the red LED is need to be connect the middle terminal of the potentiometer which is the variable terminal of the potentiometer. Fix the wire with the help of the soldering. Now take another wire, connect this wire to any side terminal of the potentiometer. The potentiometer is connected to the circuit. Now take the battery connector to which two wires are connected already. Insert these wires over the image of connectors on the PCB. Apply the flux to these wires and then perform the soldering. The connector marked with the black circle is a green AC connector mounted on the PCB. We are going to connect a bulb to this connector. Now take two small wires. Remove their insulation with the help of the cutter. We will connect a bulb to the circuit through these wires. Take a bulb holder and unscrew its terminals. Bend one of the wire and insert this wire in one of the screw terminal of the holder. Make this connection tight with the help of the screw driver. Now unscrew the connector slightly. Insert the wire connected to the holder in the hole of the connector as shown in this video and make the connection tight. Now take the main cord. Remove the insulation of wires of this cord. Bend the wire and insert this wire in another hole of the connector. Make this connection tight. Bend the second wire of main cord and insert it in the second screw terminal of the holder as shown in this video. Now insert the bulb in the holder. As soon as we connect the battery to the circuit, the LED will glow. After providing the AC main supply to the circuit, the bulb will also glow. In this video, we can see when the torch light is falling on the LDR, the bulb gets switched off. And when the torch light is moved away from the LDR, the bulb will then get switched on. To order the kit of automatic straight light, you can contact on 9604922180. For more information and for more interesting kits like this, you can visit in the Hobby Kits section of our website www.mdbelectrosoft.in.